Previously with Peyton. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Damn, I hope he ain't get the joke. About the celebrity. <sighs> that was a good workout. This one right here? Nah, he keep liking all my freaks. I'm swagging, I'm surfing, I'm clean like Ninja Turtles. Why I got some cotton candy grapes? You like that? Yeah. Be like sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's weekly vlog and see what's going on. Are you checking on your strong friend? When was the last time you checked on the strong friend? Life might look seamless on the outside, but on the inside, in reality, people are going through their own experiences, struggles, and battles, even as a content creator. Like, my life is not all the way sorted together, and you cannot get that from an hour-long video. Just like you, I have days when the world feels overwhelming, when I need someone to talk to, someone who listens without judgment, and that's when I turn to therapy. Is something interfering with your happiness or hindering your goals? Especially during this retrograde, like I have been feeling, I, I'm not going to lie y'all, I have thought about quitting YouTube several times in the past week. Finding the right therapist can be a challenge. But once you find the right therapist, it can definitely help you come out of the slump. For me, before I sought out therapy, I would just clean my house. I mean, whenever I felt like I was sad or depressed, I would just start cleaning everything. I mean, even the baseboards. I'm vacuuming areas that don't even need to be vacuumed because I just feel sad. So I'll throw on me some Isley Brothers and I just start cleaning. But I do realize that sometimes I need somebody to talk to because I'm not going to lie, y'all. In the past week, I have thought about quitting YouTube a lot. Like maybe three or four times the thought has not left my mind i don't know i just don't feel motivated i i feel like i'm ready to do something else and i do need somebody to talk to and it helps it helps it does help so let's talk about today's sponsor which is better help better help strives to make therapy more affordable and accessible and believe me finding the right therapist in your vicinity can be hard BetterHelp simplifies this, offering an online platform where after answering a few questions, you can be matched with a professional therapist in just days. Speaking with a therapist can help you navigate through emotions in a safe space. So if you find yourself facing such challenges, consider BetterHelp. Go to BetterHelp.com backslash Peyton Charles to get 10% off your first month. And hey, if the therapist and you aren't a match, you can always switch to another therapist. A massive thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and remember always check on your strong friend because everyone needs someone sometimes oh, i swear i need to get my nose hers waxed because every time i look in a mirror it's always something hanging and dangling in my god doggone nose and it's annoying because i don't notice it until i'm editing a damn video and i be needing my footage so i leave it in hey y'all welcome back to another weekly vlog i'm annoyed right now and i'm taking a break to um I'm taking a break to go and take this stuff back up to Fendi and Zara before it closes. Fendi closes at 5. I think Zara in the mall <coughs> closes at 6. <clears throat> my Final Cut Pro just crashed while I was on my iMac um, editing a video that is going up today. I'm like, you know what? Because we're, cause we're working on our patience. And wow, when you pray for patience... 
be careful what you pray for be very careful what you pray for because God is not going to give you and bless you with what you prayed for he's going to put you in situations that will test what you prayed for and if you have it you got it because the girls that get it got it well the girls that got it get it the girls that get it get it so if you pray for patience you're not just gonna get patience you're gonna get tested and see if you have patience right so my iMac crash and I'm like okay boom I'm just I'm just I'm I'm about, uh, yeah I'm, I'm I'm about to go up to Fendi because I bought a bag and some jewelry yesterday in the Days in Dallas video. I just started a new series called Days in Dallas because <coughs> I really uh, miss doing living alone in Dallas. Why I do not miss living alone. I love that my baby is home with me, of course, but I do miss having the you know variety of content on my channel so i came up with days in dallas which is like a spinoff to living alone in dallas come on spin off come on come on sitcom and in that vlog i went up to fendi and i bought some jewelry and i bought a cute little fendi bag um which basically is like a phone bag um you can't put very much in it in the, for the price of it, it's just not practical for me. I, I definitely want to be able to wear any bag that I buy um, and it be more functional besides just carrying um, a phone or like lip gloss. You know, I, I want to be able to put more in my bag. So I took a picture of these four bags and I posted them on my Instagram page. And oh my God, so many people were like, oh my God, I love those bags. I need to go up to Fendi and stuff like that. And I had one, on, I had one, I had my eye on one that was brown. Um, and I said that if I didn't find those Fendi slides that I had tried on in Nordstrom's that I was going to go back up to Fendi and get those brown Fendi size slides because I don't have any brown slides. Um, so since I'm going, since I was going back up to Fendi anyway to get those slides, I decided to go ahead and return that uh, black mini baguette type of phone bag and I'm going to get the brown one and you're going to see it in the vlog. You're going to see it in a minute. Um, I'm going to get the brown one instead and get the sandals and I think, I want to say that the brown one, the brown bag should match the sandals. Um, which would be really cute for this outfit that I have in mind because I got this, um, brown vest from Zara and I feel like that'll be really cute to wear with that brown vest some wide leg jeans because me and guy ton be like going out a lot um for like brunch and stuff like that so I feel like that'll be a cute look like little you know cash brunch uh outfit and then we also need to go up to Zara in the North Park Mall because I got a few pieces in size medium and Child. Zara be playing with me but Zara really plays on my top Zara really plays on my mother freaking top because everything that I got in a size medium I need in a small and then oh damn I forgot to I forgot to grab that uh that dress with the with the necktie you know what I'm just gonna buy another one and then I'll take it back on another day because I need that dress that came with like a necktie I need that in a large and I need to get it tailored because the medium is hugging my hips and it's making me look really straight up and down so it's best that I get 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 that dress in a large and get it tailored um, so it can actually like fit my shape and complement my shape better so yeah that's what we're headed to do and then when I come back I'm just doing those two things I'm not gonna go crazy today I just need to go to Fendi and so I already see it. And by the time I get home, I'm hoping that my computer just acts right because uh, it's, it's really been giving me the blues. Like, I don't know why it was, because uh, I bought that, that uh, computer open box. I don't know why it was returned and why it was open box, but I ain't gonna lie y'all, that, that fucking computer has been giving me the absolute goddamn blues. It's been giving me the blues, for real. And my version of Final Cut Pro has been giving me the blues too. Like I really feel like I just need to. Ugh. Some days I really just be want to like just switch over completely to Adobe Premiere because that's what all the videographers use and the professional um, filmmakers. 
that's what they use it's adobe premiere pro some days i really be want to switch over to adobe premiere but uh i heard that it's very hard but the the amount of things that you can do to do with it when it comes to graphics is insane so yeah but anyway how y'all day going y'all having a good day today's monday honey today is monday today is not fucking monday today is sunday anyway we get into the bag we're getting to the bag so we're getting us a little vitamin d not too much not too much because baby this vitamin d this texas vitamin d be sucking the energy up out of bitch see one thing about this though is on sundays a lot of the stuff um gets sold out fast I don't know if they had just put it out like last night or what, but that's one thing about this Zara. Stuff in here sells out fast. <sighs> but they don't put out a lot of new stuff too. Okay. That smells so good. So they do have the overall set. back home done did all that in an hour like an hour and ten but yep all right let's go back upstairs and get back to work got everything that i needed to get done and i ain't even have to rush praise the lord did you put your feet in it <laughs> talking about the lasagna yeah i might have did i might have put my foot in it but not technically of course well, ain't nobody, can't nobody cook like me, you know. <laughs> you know, girl, can't nobody cook like your mama. This microwave be cooking for days. Let me see. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Bless you. That's my piece. Yeah. In here? Oh, right there, mama. Mm-mm, this mine right here. here. Thank you. I'm hoping it cooked all the way through. Oh, I'm so hungry. Messed up yesterday, y'all. I messed up yesterday. After my workout at the bar class, I drank out of a gym water fountain. And I woke up this morning. I had like phlegm in the back of my throat. My nose, not my nostrils felt like they were inflamed. Um, I'm not stopped up or anything, but I have just been feeling really weak and bad. And I did hear like there was like a new COVID on the streets and I hope there's not this. I hope there's not this because yesterday towards the end of the day, I did have a really, really bad back pain in the middle of my back. And when I caught COVID in 2021, I had that same back pain. And then I earlier yesterday, I had like what felt like it was going to be a migraine but I took two Motrin and knocked it out um before it started but man I hope I ain't getting sick because I've been hugging and I'm a very affectionate parent um especially like when I fuss at Karen for like doing her chores and stuff like that I always feel bad about it and because I'm an affectionate, affectionate parent when I apologize for like fussing I'm always like you know hugging and stuff on her and I really don't want her to get sick like for me it is what it is you know what I'm saying but I don't want her to get sick you know what I'm saying so I hope it's not the new COVID because that would just mess everything up especially my plans um for like what I uh, plan on doing next month but um 
We're having a movie night right now. Karen made her some popcorn with hot sauce. I ain't had popcorn with hot sauce in so long. And she was like, Janet Jackson eats popcorn and hot sauce. And I was like, yeah. She was like, on that movie with Tupac. And I'm like, yeah, you right. She was like, let's have movie night, mom. So we in here having movie night. I just ate me a little bit of the uh, pepperoni lasagna that I made. Look at Tupac fine still. Tupac's old dog on fine. Man, they took they took a legend. They don't make them fine like that no more. Here you go. Yeah, I said it. I said a Tupac is fine. You think Tupac fine? He is fine. He is fine. You right, you got good taste. Cause if you had to say Tupac ain't fine, I would have been looking at you sideways, sister girl. Okay, I want to show y'all the bag and the flat sandals that I ended up getting yesterday at Fendi. If you watched my Days in Dallas vlog, um, then you would have seen what I, you would have seen me try them on and like show the bag. Um, but I ended up getting the mini phone bag and honestly that bag just isn't practical. It isn't functional. When I thought about it after I put it up on my display, first I was like, okay, you got two black bags and you already have one that that, that YSL bag It's it's a beautiful bag, but I can't get much in it. I can get like, um, a, some lip gloss and a card holder. Um, but when I go out, I like having multiple things in my bags. You know what I'm saying? Um, and being that my price point, like, you know what I'm saying, where I cut it off is 2000 A lot of the bags, if I'm going to, like, start, you know, getting from, like, high-end designers like Chanel, YSL, Dior, and stuff like that, when it comes to that cut on the price point i am limited on the bag selections that i can choose so that's honestly why i like fendi is because their price point for their nice bags and really cute bags is more friend friendlier to me plus i ain't never heard fendi have any scandals when it comes to black people but i correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah i thought about it when I put the when I put the bag on my display I was like okay this bag little as hell it's smaller than the YSL bag and I really wouldn't be able to get much in it because it's a phone bag you know what I'm saying so I was like let me take this bag because the bag that I got was only $200 more um so I ended up getting this cute bag and when I thought about it I ain't have I don't, I don't have too many um brown bags so now I can get a lot in this bag and this bag was only $17.50 and it also comes with a shoulder strap as well so this really cute bag and I picked up these cute brown sandals to match now putting them up together they don't like match match um but i can also wear this with like you know white sandals white um the rocky sandals that i just got from steve man um but yeah i needed some brown sandals anyway because i wasn't i didn't plan on getting the brown sandals um the hermes dupes from steve Madden. so yeah that's that and then i did go in exchange y'all i did an exchange at zara for all that stuff that i got and i ended up getting four dollars and 44 cents back come on angel numbers okay so i ain't tried nothing on yet but i went back and i mean i don't know what's going on with zara because baby i can fit smiles 
So I went back and I got this black vest because I plan on like wearing it with jeans and like some black sandals on a cash day, on a casual day. Then I got this cute pinstripe crop top. And then we talked about and I and I tried on these overalls. So I got these in a small. Haven't tried them on yet. But I'm pretty sure they'll fit because the mediums were so big. And then I got these pants in a small. So out of everything that I tried on yesterday, the only thing that I was not able to get in a, in my size or in a large was that um, that next high dress. I don't know what I'm going to do about that because it's actually kind of tight. So I might just order it off of Zara online. And after I have confirmation that it's being shipped, then I take that one back. Because I don't want to like exchange. I don't want to return it. I just want to exchange it. So if they don't have any larges, then I'm going to keep it and just make it do what it do. And we're just going to look straight up and down that day, baby. We ain't going to have no curves. So me and Karen are going to a head spa today and I am so excited about it because I had saw um, an Instagram reel of uh, another place. It wasn't in Dallas. It was probably like in California or something like that. And I was like, damn, I wish they had something like that here in Texas because, man, I would go every month. So basically they analyze your scalp and you get like this series of different type of head massages, a facial, um, they give you a scalp treatment. You get to see what your, uh, a, like a microscopic view of what your scalp looks like. And they basically analyze like what you need to do in, in, in terms of like getting your scalp back to a healthy point. Um, so I was like, oh my God, I really want to do that. Because when I tell you, I, me and Karen both love getting our hair washed and I love getting scalp massages. Oh, so we found uh, a head spa here in Mansfield, Texas. So I'm about to go upstairs and take my braids out and detangle my hair. Um, it's an Asian um, based hair salon. Um, only from what I've seen on the only Asian salons offer this type of um, service um, but they are all over the world y'all so like if you can find one in your city and state I highly recommend going to one now I ain't been to one yet but I already know that I'm gonna be happy with my results at the end they give you a blowout um, and then later on today I have a an appointment for a braid down so this is actually gonna kind of be like a maintenance video a maintenance vlog because I have like a lot of things it's in terms of like self-care to do for myself and whenever I do things like this it always makes me feel better especially when I'm like going through a funk because we are in a like retrograde right now like a double retrograde I don't know if y'all feeling it yet but I had start feeling it I totally had start feeling it she's so pretty Ever since she was a baby, I would just stir her asleep, and she's so pretty to me. Like, who the hell is this? We both fell on the, fell asleep on the couch last night. Um, we watched Poetic Justice, and then we put on Eve's Bayou. Um, and we end up falling asleep to Eve's Bayou. I have been feeling... Whew, ever since I drank that water at that water fountain, baby, I have been feeling really, really dizzy. Ooh, my hair about to be everywhere in this bathroom. It's always that one little side that don't want to... Ow. Whew, shit. I put this one down good today. Okay. It's always the one little side that don't want to come. That don't want to come up. Let's see how much new growth we got. Look like we got an inch. That girl braided my hair so good. 
yesterday I was on YouTube. No, the day before I was on YouTube watching shorts again. And man, I saw this dude had uploaded a short. And it's a video of him riding in the car and the the uh the caption on the reel i mean the uh short was an angel drops out of the sky right when i tell y'all i got excited about it i got excited i don't know why i got excited but i got excited so i watched the video probably like five or six times and i'm like wow a real angel and i got excited because i'm like oh baby is jesus getting ready to come back because i am ready i'm ready so I go, I go to his page because I don't know why watching that one video made me feel like maybe he has more. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like why, why would this person just be like blessed to be, be able to see angels all the time? Like child, anyway, so I go to his page. Why this man a graphic designer and he made that? He made that. I don't know what software he used because you cannot do that with Final Cut Pro, but um, yeah, he made that girl and that, that made me so mad because I had got excited. You go on his page and you see him pulling the, the moon closer and he making all kind of um, graphics where it looked like you can see like like meteor showers, like a meteor hits the moon. And when I seen that, that's when I realized, okay, he just doing this shit because that angel coming out the sky looked so real. Y'all, it looked so real. I don't understand why YouTube allows stuff like this. Okay, no shade and shit. All right, me and sister girl getting ready to go get our a head a uh, scalp massage and analyze. I am just so excited about this, y'all. I hope they don't turn me away when they see my hair. I really do, cause this this hair can be intimidating. <laughs> yeah, it can. It can. I know. I know. It intimidates me too, baby. My head, my whole body be hurting after I do my own hair. That's why I don't do it. I always do Karen's, but I don't like doing mine. Mm -mm. Back, feet, arms. This is a, it'd be a workout to do my hair. It'd be a workout. But yeah, I'm giving my 4C Diana Ross the glory. Mm. Get into it. Oh, y'all, I'm so excited about this. Ah, oh, this is a 35 minute drive, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And today's fragrance is um, Imaginaire. Damn, what is it called? Um, Imaginaire's Blanche Bet. She's just a really pretty. She's just a really pretty feminine scent, y'all. I cannot get enough of this perfume. I think I'm gonna put some different glasses on. These Tom Ford's is not giving what I wanted to give with my pro. Okay, so these are from a PayPal. I cannot remember. You have to go back and look at some of my PR unboxings because the name of these is in there, but they have green in them. And my scarf is from St. Perry because you know God blessed me with a big brain so I had to have room so I'm you know making sure my forehead is um protected from the sun oh girl cuz child all right the destination is on your right Parrothead Spawn Just 
Why I just why I just spent a hundred and eighty five dollars? Can y'all see that? Y'all probably can't even see it. It's still build up on my scalp. I said, ma'am, do you not know I'm a YouTube influencer? Why I just spent a hundred and eighty five dollars for them people to play in my head like this? Now, camera hair don't look this bad, but she she definitely got a fro. But I can manage that. I I. One hundred and eighty-five dollars. And what kind of hair is this? What what what's my texture? What kind of hair is this? Somebody tell me. Now I will say that my hair smell good. My hair smell good because they put so much oil in it trying to calm through it. That spa is not for black people. I called her back and I said, baby, y'all spies not for black people. Y'all need to hire some black people, some black Asians or somebody because this 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 is not for ethnic care. It said a blowout. Baby, she blow dried my fro and it's and this is how it's is looking. Ma'am, $185 for this? And me and Cameron got the ultimate package. Plus tip came out to be $530. Cause they did, they supposed to did a scalp treatment, uh, a scalp exfoliation. Where, where when it's, I can still see the dandruff on my scalp. Where, scalp, exfoli scalp exfoliation. Where, oh, not going bad, never going bad. The experience was nice because when I got the chest massage, I was like, oh, baby, I ain't never had a, ch a chest massage. Stop playing with me, yo. I'll be here every month. No, I'm not. I'm at, I, I'm waiting on her to refund me half my money. Now, camera scalp look good. The the lady who did camera hair, she did a good job. Karen was like, "Mom, this was this was fun. Can we come here again?" With who coin? Not mine. She was like, "We, we do you want to come back and us to shan and us shampoo your hair again, ma'am? Y'all couldn't shampoo my hair the first time." You ain't gonna be able to shampoo this now looking like this. A black person has to do this. A black girl has to deal with this now. Like. <sighs> oh, on and on and on and on. My God, I am rolling like a rolling stone. On and on and on and on. All right, we headed to Capel to get my hair braided by Tara. That's the girl that braided my hair last time. Oh, Lord, I hope she don't turn me around, child. I hope she don't turn me around. I really was, because the, the appointment is so late, I really was hoping that they were going to blow dry at the Asian salon at Harris Head Spa. I was hoping that they were going to blow dry me out, blow, you know, pull my hair out real good, not pull my hair out, but... um blow dry me you know what i'm saying give me a good blowout that way tara would just have to braid me down and oil my scalp real good but <sighs> child nancy's gonna have to work overtime because she has pre-detangling to do before she washes my hair again um I'm, I'm just gonna have to pay her extra i'm just gonna have to pay her extra for the detangling part because whoo that is definitely one of those Instagram, Instagram, I got you. That's a, that's what you call an Instagram, I got you. Because they make it look so alluring online, right? But they don't tell you that the gag is 
they don't have any staff to do ethnic hair so if you have curly hair baby it's all on you it's all on you they're not going to detangle your hair if you have curly coily hair now i will say if you are in the threes if you are in the threes all the way up to four a's because karen I, I would say is like a a three c four a maybe a three three b four a possibly i don't know karen has karen has manageable a manageable texture not me <laughs> not on duty not on duty i do not i do not I was just talking to Cindy. Cindy said, may, perhaps my hair might be 4Z. I haven't ever heard of 4Z hair, but shit, it might be. It might be. It might be the last letter and the last number, for real. Because my hair is very hard to manage. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm thinking because they haven't man. They haven't. They. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking. And then the lady asked me, she was like, what texture hair do you have? I said, 4C. She was like, see, we just opened. We, we didn't know about the other textures. We didn't know about all the textures. 3B, 3C, 4C. Ma'am, you have a head and scalp sa salon, a scalp spa. You are supposed to know about every texture hair there is. And you should staff people to be able to do every texture hair there is. That just makes sense. I ain't gonna lie though. The lane is wide open for a black a, a, a black person to come out with a salon like this, a, a, a spa like this for black people. And you know, black people, black hairstylists can do everybody hair. We very universal. So, man, you can come out with a, a, a very luxury head and scalp spa and take over because there are none here in dallas you, i had to drive all the way out to mansfield which is 35 minutes away for to get this done and i'm unhappy with my service so the lane wide open for a black person a, a black girl black guy to come out with a, a head spot like this i'm actually gonna look into it myself to open it because the, it's a great concept the idea is amazing you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day for 185 dollars i got my head and honestly if, if we really want to be honest the massage the, the scalp massage really want that great i don't know about karen maybe karen had a better lady she, the lady was a little old but the scalp massage really wasn't that great now the chest massage was good but I went there and I was excited about the scalp massage. That little um, halo part over your head that um, you know rinses your hair at the end, that need more pressure. I looked at that online and I thought, oh, that looked like it feels so good. It would feel good if the pressure was a little harder. You know what I'm saying? If, it would, if the pressure was higher. But it was basically like, a trickle it felt like a trickle and with my type of hair and my porosity I couldn't even feel it I couldn't even feel it on my scalp and yeah th there needs to be some sort of disclaimer on the website because this is a learning experience for them and I you know I talked to the manager and I was like this 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 isn't an experience for black people it needs to be a universal experience for everybody everybody should be able to get this but their salon isn't capable of doing ethnic care when i walked in i was skeptical and as i was walking in a black girl was walking out in her hair she had 4c hair and her hair was curly and i'm thinking that don't look like she got a blow dry you know what i'm saying because with the ultimate package you get a blowout i didn't get a blowout they literally, however your hair is, once they take the towel off after you shampoo, they blow dry it in that state. They don't, they don't pull out a comb. They don't pull out a brush. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? But I'm watching her thinking, give her grace, give her grace, Peyton, be patient, give her grace. Maybe she just detangling first. No, no. She was like, okay, I'm done. I'm like. She's like, is there anything you would want me to do? I'm like, yeah, calm it out more, girl. You can't let me walk up out of here like this. Baby, she let me walk up out of here like this. Whew. I walked out of there so unhappy and so frustrated. I have never. And y'all know I'm the queen of trying something new. I have never. 
but like i said the lane is wide open for a black girl to do this and take the fuck over if you want to do it with me let me know we can go in, we can go in on it and be partners because child really you got five new clients that's good okay just hear me out just hear me out <gasps> girl i just came from a head spa mm -hmm. Where they wash and supposed to blow out your hair and massage it. <laughs> girl, this how they left me, girl. This how they did me. holiday heart because this was a request by miss karen she wanted to watch this this movie is very triggering for me child. i don't really want to watch it but yeah just pressed her hair out really nice because we going out and we're having a fun girls day tomorrow i just flat earned it um Cause both of us had froze after going to that head spa. Shy, I do not recommend. Don't waste your money. Cause it's first of all, it's very expensive. And if you have curly hair like we have, like if you have fro type of hair, you gonna be mad when you leave. Cause I left out of there looking like Gumby. You gonna make this hard? I wouldn't be me if I didn't. I looked a mess. Okay. Um, so I know you don't want to the girls in the bed, we ain't got no rollers to roll it though, so. And you call yourself a writer, now can't you do better than that? You really need to okay, put a love him. on it around I, this area. Is that a Do you got one, Mom? I want to have something that I thought I never would. Are we off table? I got another one. How do they, all my life I've been just have to trying to get into the loop. I just... I'm so tired of being different. I, I wanted to be a family that, Hold on. that I can Hold be on, proud girl. of. I demand a wife and a child. You act like God picked you and only you to give a hard life to. Okay. But look around, baby, because it's a big world out there. Great. And believe me, it's turned emotionally on. Thank you, Mom. The only thing saving any of us is all right, good morning guys. I just finished a great workout today and I also did a little swim. Listen, I feel so rejuvenated and energized. So after, I'm getting a smoothie right now and then after I leave here, we're going to get my lashes done. This is my first time getting my lashes done. I hope I got all the, all the glue off my eyes. But yeah, I'm excited. And it's literally five minutes her um, lash salon, her lash week is five minutes from here. So I'm grabbing this smoothie and I'm gonna be on time. I'm so proud of myself. I was the one who told her about the scent room. Really? Yeah. And then she went and got a job there. Uh, she's from Oklahoma, so I don't know if she told you that. Mm-mm. But yeah. Y'all, this is Jandy. Hi. This is Vegas's best friend. Hold on, it's not focusing on you. They she's so pretty. Vegas. Uh huh. That's so cute. Hello. No. She's so Is that pretty. ZV1? The ZV10. ZV10. Mm -hmm. I dropped my ZV1 and it like broke. Do you vlog? Like, huh? Do you vlog? I don't. It's just like for content for um, lashes. Oh, okay. I try to do it. What did, where did you get the ZV1 from? Um, Best Buy? Take it to Best Buy. They'll, they'll repair it. Really? Mm hmm. Like, even I think if it's I didn't $70. Sign for the warranty? Mm hmm. I didn't sign up for the warranty or anything. You didn't? But you bought it from there, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they'll still repair it for $70. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. All right, you guys, we are getting ready to but. get my lashes done. This is my first time getting my lashes done. It Did is. I tell you that? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So I don't know That's if I'm insane. like allergic or i don't think i'm allergic but my eyes do water in the morning so. <clears throat> i mean i wear i used to wear like bonding glue when i put my lashes on and then i mm -hmm. converted over to lash glue mm. but i've always just done strips <laughs> i do wear um like hair glue on my lashes so I, I so I do have enough like natural lashes oh and i i tried to clean all the glue off mm -hmm. my my lids they look good. I did my yeah. best. They be getting on me. My my subscribers be getting on me. Why she be wearing? <laughs> Cause I wear I wear strips, and sometimes the duo glue is hard to come off, and you can't be too rough on your eyelids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That is For like, true. cause it'll aid you if you if you're super rough, like cleaning yeah. around your eyes. So I just like you know I have a little residue left over. It happens to the best of us, girl. It they does. Be, they be getting on me in my comments. <laughs> I'm gonna just have you hike up a little bit more. Okay. Like, um, like move your body towards up. Maybe. Okay. I'm just gonna wash your lashes real quick. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. to go get our nails done well i'm getting a pedicure she's getting her nails done she don't want to get a pedicure um but i'm getting a pedicure because oh my goodness like i'm probably gonna get the most expensive one they got because the calluses that i have on my heel baby it look like i've been walking um all my life it looked like i've been walking on concrete all my life that's the downside of having hardwood floors if you walk barefoot on your hardwood floors Baby, don't even don't even think about anybody sucking your toes. Don't don't think about it, cause the 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 dryness and the way your heel gonna look. Look, I was a little embarrassed yesterday when I went to get a massage and that man was massaging my feet, cause I, I could hear it. I could hear him rubbing my feet. You ain't supposed to hear nobody rubbing your feet. That's dry. That's real dry. smell like semen you know how semen smell like bleach I don't like it I don't like it so combo hack this is how I combo scents before I spray it on I put them up together and if they smell like they'll complement each other that's when I put them on I don't just try it you know what I'm saying? Because I got a weird nose. If I spray on the wrong thing, I'll have a headache. I'll get a migraine and I'll be feeling sick the rest of the day. So I have to put it up together like this, smell it together. And if it smells good, then I layer it. So because Amber Fever by Mansetta smells very similar to uh, MFK's Back at Our Rouge, I kind of already figured that these would pair well together. So I'm going to put on... The love don't be shy first, and then put the amber fever over it. Oh my God! Why don't I wear this more? Mmm. This smells so damn good. Okay, so me and Cameron, like I said, we about to go get uh, our nails done. We about to go get pedicures, and she's getting her nails done. And then after that, we're gonna get something to eat. And we're going to a golfing, a putt putt golf place called Another Round. So we actually don't even have to go get another E because they have a bar and bar food at Another Round. So, okay, so this is my outfit of the day. Just some cute pants that I got from Micah's. The top is from, the crop top is from Zara. And I just have on my Fendi slides. Maybe these slides don't bend down through there, but. 
until the gold starts peeling off. I'm going to, oh my God, it smells so good. For bag, I'm going to wear my Bottega. Go ahead and pack that up. And I'm going to put on a little jewelry. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so I'm only doing my toes today because I'm going to a specific person to do my nails. Like, uh, I don't play about my nails no more, hun. All right, for jewelry, I'm wearing Shop Lincoln Live on the right and Fendi and JBW on the left. All right, one last look at the full outfit. Super cute and cash. And a video just went live, so I have something to do while i'm getting my toes done respond to comments come on fool camera heard on free and stuff she's sweating her sleep all right we going to our favorite nail bar onyx they got a new one in a galleria location too but i have a special relationship with the, the general manager at this one he's so sweet he always makes sure we taken care of so you have to go where you got good rapport with people you know what i'm saying good quote-unquote bedside mountain and ma'am did my lashes so good i forgot to talk about that after i got them done because i went home and went straight into editing but she did our, she did my lashes so good i'm definitely gonna keep going to her because she gave me exactly what i asked for Hello. hey yeah, nails and pedicure okay. If y'all live in Dallas and y'all come to Onyx Nail Bar, ask for Lily. Man, her pedicure is so fine. Her pedicures are fire. Her neck massage fire too. I need to set my car well when it, when I come up to it, it unlock. Cause why it don't never unlock? Shit annoying as hell and it's dangerous. It's open, babe. All right, next stop, we finna go to another round. My trainer Alex told me about this place. He took his girlfriend on a date and he said it was amazing. He was like, it's probably one of the most fun putt putt golf places he's ever been to. And he said the food was really good too. So we gonna eat and play golf. Karen got her some Playboy bunny nails, child. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna show them to you when we get there. Continue straight. Then use the right two lanes to take it 428B to merge onto I-30 West. The chop house sliders are burgers. Okay. Huh? Two. Here, Damn, you're strong. Who you think gonna win, me or you? Thank you. 
who you think gonna win, me or you? I think it's gonna be you, but who they gonna go right there? She might very well beat me. She a baddie, she's showing her panty. She's shaking like jelly. Hunting bins of Chanel, but I'm still shaking ass in a deli. With my bitch getting daddy. He like him already. He with the wop, but I just with the Freddy. And I'm back in his partner, I'm petty. Call me that B while he eating my honey. You know niggas love bitches with money. I get a lot. Taking her spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. My name Ice, but I always stay hot. Passenger princess, he passed me his knock. Baddest little bitch from my block. Me and Baddies be getting along. So they always be singing my song. Stepping outside, I'ma put that shit on. 300 and then I perform. You know I'ma get to the back. Or the hating bitches to the back. Too much to lose, so I cannot react. Damn bitches be going outside. She a baddie, she showing her panties. She a baddie, she showing her panties. She's shaking like jelly. Honey bands of Chanel. But I'm still shaking ass in a deli. With my bitch getting daddy. He like him already. He with the wop, but I just with the Freddy. And I'm back in his partner, I'm petty. Feeling a speech and I'm showing my coochie. PJ to Emilio Pucci. I look like bitches like shout out to Lucy. Ooh. That was fun. You wanna find us a movie and have a movie night? That was fun. They closed on us, so we didn't get to finish all 18 holes. We should have just went for nine. But it's actually in my neighborhood. I didn't even realize that was over there. Like, this whole time, I never knew that that's what that was, an indoor putt-putt. And it's, like, super, like, IG aesthetic fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's picture-worthy. Um, the bar food was very much that. It was bar food. Uh, they literally have an air fryer right there at the bar and they cook everything in the air fryer. I'm talking about the burgers, the jalapeno poppers, the chicken tenders right there in the air fryer at the bar. So, eat before you go. The drinks, I had a pina colada and it was strong. It's not like a traditional pina colada because usually pina coladas don't taste like alcohol. That tasted like alcohol. Like, ma'am wanted me to get plastered before I played put put. And that, that, that was not the goal. But other than that, it was fun. Um, it was definitely a unique put put format. It, it definitely was. It was. But it was fun. Karen enjoyed herself. I enjoyed myself. And. Now I think I'm coming down with my first cold in what, two years? It could be because of the gym. Cause I kind of tasted the water earlier today on a accident when I was uh, in a pool. And after that, like, you know that feeling when, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's a feeling that I feel in the back of my throat, excuse me. That just feels like some just sitting back there that I got a hog up. So I keep <clears throat> doing it. Well, I'm not scratchy. My throat isn't scratchy, but it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It just feels like something is sitting in the back of my throat. So I definitely feel like I'm about to come down with something and I don't want to blame the gym, but I started feeling this way after, like, while I was at the gym. So, I can't help but blame the gym. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to get up in the morning and uh, go take an IV because I can't be sick. I don't want to be sick in the summertime. A well, summer cold is literally the absolute worst. What you in the mood to watch? Let's watch the Da, da Vinci Code. Right there, with Tom Hanks, right there. This? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. That's one of my favorite movies. Baby, every time I watch this, I be ready to go look for Mary Magdalene, Magdalene Casket. Every time I watch this movie, like, it, it, be, it, it get me. I remember the first time I watched Da Vinci Code Babies, I was all on Wikipedia looking it up, looking up everything about it. I was looking for the casket. I was looking for looking into Mary Magdalene because Mary, Mary Magdalene supposed to be the 13th prophet.
I feel like Mary Magdalene's story, because you know they only told his story, but I feel like Mary Magdalene had tea. I feel like she had tea in her story. They should have put her story, should have definitely been in the Bible. It should have, Karen, what, 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 what's going on? I, I, I picked the movie. You. It just took me all the way to this, Mom. I don't know, sister girl. But we finna watch Da Vinci Code. Turn off the lights. Okay. You gonna, uh, Kara, can you get one of the coffee cups, heat me up some um, water in the microwave, put, put some filtered water in the coffee cup, heat me up some water in the microwave, and then give me a peppermint tea bag. Yeah. Oh Lord, I even feel my legs uh feel like they about to start aching. Oh, I love this hair. <sighs> yeah, this hair was uh like in a freaking matted ball, okay? And um yeah, I know how I said I'm not using the Olipix anymore on my natural hair. If you have leftover Olipix that you're not using because of the whole Olipix making your hair fall out and all of this stuff, use it on your wigs. Yeah, look at all this body. Girl. Hey. Huh? Somebody said my name? Like, it literally just, I mean, it doesn't tangle now. And I use four steps. I'm getting ready to go get my nails done, so I'll show you the steps when I get when I get back. But I use like the two recovery that you put on your hair before you shampoo, then the shampoo and the conditioner, blow dried it, and flat ironed it. And I think I put like a little Design Essentials anti humidity um, oil mist on it, y'all. Like, and I've worked out in this hair four times. It ain't frizzed up or nothing. I mean. It, and it would frizz up. It would it would look a hot mess if I I am just like and this is my second time saying use Olapex on your wigs. Now don't go out and buy Olapex for your wigs if you don't need to, okay? I'm saying if you have Olapex that you're not using and you done bought it up and you're not using it on your natural hair anymore, use it on your wigs because it's almost like putting in a silicone mix. Like it just transform your old wigs. Like if you got a really like tangly wig, use some of your Olapex on it and just see. Just see if it works because I've done it on a curly wig and I've done it on this hair. Also, I noticed that I didn't get a lot of uh, bleeding from this color um, using Olapex too. Like it wasn't on a towel and it wasn't like a lot of orange water when I was washing it out. So, you got a little color protector in there too, girl. Okay, so I'm putting on my black Steve Man Hermes dupes with this outfit. I think y'all have seen this outfit before. I've definitely worn it before. But just to go over everything, I have on the crop top from Zara. I have this crop top in every color, white, beige, brown, and black. Love it. If they come out with more colors, baby, I'm buying it. And then these um, cargo joggers are from Fashion Nova. And also, we have talked about this. Y'all know that I have fibrosis in my stomach from getting um, lipo. Call me crazy, but I think all of these core workouts that I have been doing is helping my fibrosis. Because I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh my God, it's looking better. Like at first I thought I was going to have to stop back going to get the massages, girl. And the massages is $150 a piece. They are not that high in Colombia. But I think, I think what what it was is just scar tissue from lac lactic acid and just not exercising the scar tissue was building up okay i'm gonna put on my burberry sunnies oh this real cute this real cute in my burberry little dainty bag we're gonna cross this over 
Oh, this is real cute. This is a cute little nail date outfit. Get into it. And then my um, scent for today is Zerjov Casamarati Dama Bianca. And I smell very soft. I smell very soft like, yeah, girl, I'm going to go get my nails on with my little Burberry shades. We both fell asleep on the couch last night watching movies. All right, baby. Mama love you. Like, who wakes up that pretty? And all the views and really all you do is plot. I give you the plans and brands and all the juice and really all you do is plot. So basically what I figured out today is that I cannot charge both of my cars in the garage at the same time. It trips the circuit breaker to the garage and it's a lot of stuff that the garage is connected to. For example, my hot water heater. <laughs> so my hot water heater is electric. So I get in the shower today to get ready to take a shower, baby. I pop in there, I get in there, and I'm I get in there comfortably, child, because I already know that this water is <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's ready and willing, baby. Baby, I hopped out this shower so fast I bumped into the I, I I I bumped into the glass door. I ran into the glass door. That water was so doggone cold. I'm like, what the hell? And then I remembered that I got a notification from my BMW last night. Porsche didn't even let me know, child. But BMW let me know that the charging was interrupted. But I was so doggone tired. I was like, okay, I'm going to go down there in a minute. Give me five minutes. You know what I'm saying? It was one of them. Give me five minutes. I'll go back down there and, and um, trip the break. Right? Never did end up falling asleep. So I woke up this morning. And lo and behold... Yeah, the breaker to the um, to the um, garage was tripped, so I can't charge both of my cars at the same time, and both of them are low. The BMW was on 47 percent, and the Porsche is on 13 percent. So, I mean, the plan originally was to charge them one at a time, like okay, when the the, the 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 point what I had planned was when the BMW gets low I drive the Porsche and then when the Porsche get low I drive the BMW for the week you know what I'm saying because it take like three days to charge that's what that's the one thing that I do know oh my god is she is she throwing up was she throwing up bitch how are you driving at 30 ma 40 miles an hour with the door open I believe she was throwing up But Lord, as I was saying, what I've noticed about owning two EVs is that the i4 takes longer to charge than the Porsche. The Porsche takes around about like a day and a half. The i4 takes three days on a 110 volt. I haven't gotten 220 volts. It would take less than that if I've got if I gotten you know my um. I you know hired an electrician to put 220 volts in the garage and I have like four sockets in the garage um I just haven't done it yet I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna do it I don't even know if I'm gonna do it to be honest but yeah it takes longer for the i4 to charge so and the Porsche holds a battery longer I'm going to compare my EVs. I'm going to do a, a video comparing my EVs soon because as I've been driving them the past month, I've noticed several differences about them. Love them both equally. Like there's there's no, no, no car that I love more than the other one. I equally love them both. I equally love them both and I drive them both. I take care of them equally the same way. But I'm going to do a video comparing the two because there are, there are several differences about them.
over Ask you to take me to go Shopping in Paris or go Sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci, no All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you alone All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses and hugs No, I never had an issue, go to the club with your boys, baby I never wanted you to stay too long, just wanted you to show me Oh my god, yeah, I love my nails. I love them. Oh, it don't even look like a fill-in. I did a fill-in. Now, I didn't know that K did fill-ins. That's why every time that I had been going to him, I had been doing full sets because I didn't know that he did fill-ins. When I was going to Nita, Nina, she didn't do fill-ins, so I would have to get my nails taken off before I went to her, or she would take them off for extra, and I would have to get a full set each time. K does fill-ins so because I've been like really loving the you know nude French chip with color vibe and like adding a little gel um, design I got a fill-in today which was way more affordable than doing an entire full set each time so this was only 127 and I gave a $30 tip which came out to be 157 which so much more um, price friendly and I love them so I did do an inspo um, I got this the the red glitter tip as an inspo and then I added on the pearls because I really been wanting pearls on my nails for a while so that was um, how we came up with this one so yeah I've been wanting red on my I've been wanting red red like a red French tip and it is beautiful Okay, now on to the house. K better be glad that I love him because this doggone um, nail salon is pretty much 30 minutes away from where I live. It's far. It's in Plano. But K so doggone good, I don't even care. He's so good and thorough, I don't even care. I don't even care. I've been going to K for a while, and every time he delivers, he gives me exactly what I want, so I don't care. And I am feeling so much better, y'all, as opposed to how I felt in the beginning of the video. I was down, but I don't know. I just, that's why I always say, man, pour into your cup. If you're feeling down, like, do some self-care. Like, go get a massage. Go get a facial. Go to the gym, because def that definitely helps. Um, endorphins make you happy and you get endorphins when you work out um, and it'll help pull you out of that slump and that funk that you in you know what I'm saying cuz I ain't gonna lie like I said in the beginning of the video I have been you know contemplating quitting YouTube I, I don't know I just ain't been feeling like excited to edit excited to film um, I definitely need a vacation um, but I've been working on me and really um, focusing on me because you know we could take a vacation all we want but at the same time you can't run away from your problems when you come back from vacation the problems are still going to be there you know what I'm saying whatever you needed to do when you, before you went on vacation you still going to have to do it when you get back you know life don't stop you can take a little break but life still lifes you know what I'm saying so I wanted to make sure that I focus on me and like tap into me and, and love me and pour into my cup so that's what this week was all about now I de I'm definitely gonna schedule me a uh, uh, book me and Kyron a vacation soon because we both need to get away um but yeah this was so needed this maintenance this, this maintenance week was so needed I definitely need to get me an IV today too but I'm probably gonna do that after I edit because like I said I go hard at the end of the month so I'll do that after I edit when I um get home because this video needs to go live today. It has to go live today. I'm on a deadline. But did y'all see that wasp trying to take me out when I was getting ready to walk in a nail salon? Cha. I mean me say cha. Baby, I can't say it like her. Whenever she said it, it's so fucking funny. Cha. Baby, that wasp was trying to take me out. It must be because I smell good. Because I do smell good. I got on Serge off Dama Bianca. And bitch, I smell gut. Baby. What about you?
Jersey. 